Hi guys, Trinette's here, back with another video. So today's video, we're gonna work on a Cookie Monster theme party. I have an idea of what I wanna do. It's gonna be something very simple, I think, very simple. In my head, it's simple. So, yeah, let's just get started on that. I'm actually thinking now that I'm looking at my containers. If you haven't seen my last video, go check out my last video on the ice cream containers. Go check that video out. Um, so yeah, I'm actually thinking, I wanna make a round box, but I might just save time using that as the box and then doing the Cookie Monster stuff. But I don't know, let's see. I think I want it to be more flat like a cookie. I think that's what I really want. So we're gonna have to pull out our 11 by 17 paper because I need the box to be I think I want the box to be a little bit bigger in case they want to put like a coloring book or something inside I don't know I don't know but it's um, going to go on the table hmm we'll see as I go along I tell you I, I come up with these things on the fly so but that's the theme today cookie monster yeah, enough of me rambling. I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I am printing out the milk cartons now. Here's the cookie that I found. I'm not crazy about the color, but we're just going to go with it. Um, so I'm going to build the box. Well, I haven't printed out the box yet, but the milk carton is so cute. Oh, my goodness, the milk carton is cute. I, I've been working on the milk carton. I know it doesn't look like much, but it took me some time to do this. I do not have brown uh, cardstock paper. I don't normally buy cardstock paper like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out this cookie in full sheet and then just use that as the cardstock printout because I was thinking about doing it in blue. Maybe I won't do it in blue. We'll see how it looks. We'll see, we'll see how it looks. So that's um, so that's what's happening now and I'm going to get to cutting this out and scoring and one is going to go on top of the cookie. The cookie isn't this big, but one is gonna go on top of the cookie. Mm -hmm. That's the plan. So this is regular cardstock, so I am going to do six, um, 530 for the cut and 215 for the score. Yes.
subscribe so I had to print this out big I'm going to use this to be the center the outside of the box at the bottom maybe and then the part that goes around the circle so because I don't have plain brown I'll just I just use this maybe I should get some plain brown here's the milk carton it's so cute I did a very small one and then this size so we'll see which one looks best on top well, multi-purpose boxes is what I like multi-purpose so here's the outside of the box I need to change this it's brown but it's not showing up so let me change this I was gonna use it but no I'll be back okay I figured it out I just had it on clear or no color or something like that I don't know but this is the this is the actual box here so this is going to be the dimensions I think it's um five five and a half maybe and even though you can't see this I have um a little tab here because I think I'm going to stand it up inside of the box if it works out if it doesn't work out then I'll just lay it down flat yes I'll just lay it down flat but I have the you can't see it on a until it cuts out but yeah so we're just gonna get to cutting this and I'm not oh, I thought it was still printing I have one more Barbie box to do before before the movie and hopefully I can get that film. Oh my god, I finally ordered my um, my new laptop. <laughs> I finally ordered my new laptop. And I cannot wait. here I think I'm going to stand it up I did not cut a slit in here because I'm not sure so I'll just cut a slit with whatever I have my scissors and the box this box is probably too big so so yeah we'll see we'll see but if I do stand it up I made two and I am you know going to put it back to back like that I, I personally don't like when one side is not done that's just my personal preference so so yeah so I'll cut the rest of everything else this is the only thing that needed to have the registration line because like I said I'm gonna use this as paper I wish I totally wish I would have had um, copy I wish I would have had brown cardstock so I just need to cut out a circle. I'm going to take this oops, and cut out the circle. I'm going to remove it. Oh, that should be good enough to make sure it just gets all the cookie and out of the white. So let's just put it smack dab in the middle. And then this just makes it easier. So I don't need registration marks and all of that stuff. I think, um, okay, yeah, so let's go. I think when I do this though, I'm gonna have brown, I think I'll do brown save on ink, and I think it just, I think it'll look better. Maybe.
Okay, guys, so the circle is, like I said, five or six inches round, and these are too long to cut on eight and a half by 11. So what I did was I essentially just kind of cut it. I didn't cut it directly in half, but yeah, so now I need to glue this back because even if I would have used eight and a half, I mean, um, 11 by 17, it was still going to be too short because this paper, uh, this, um, circular thing is 18 inches. So I just went on ahead and just cut it in half and then I'm just going to glue it back together. Kind of like, kind of like when you're cutting off the mat with like, um, larger than the mat size when you're doing basically, uh, what are those things? Like those stand up things and you need them to be taller and you cut them off the mat and then put them back together. So that's essentially what I did here. And yes. So yeah, so now we have the one long piece. Looks a little raggedy, but it's fine. You won't really be able to see that if you decorate it properly, whatever, you know, add your little stuff to it, or maybe they won't even care because it's gonna be so cute, girl. So, um, so yeah, let me get to this and I'll be back. to reuse this paper which is going to cut the edge off and use this for the second the second circle you know the the uh what am i trying to say i don't know but i have the circles so the little round part that goes around it so we'll just use a piece of this paper from the last one and maybe that'll work for both of them. Maybe, maybe not. We shall see. I don't even know why I did that because I have a whole sheet left over, but we did. So let's just load it up.
okay. Yes. That's the one half. And then now I'm going to go in and move it over so I can now end down some so I don't have to move that. I think it's perfect. I'm going to say perfect. <laughs> we shall see. Okay, so yeah, that's that. Again, guys, normally when I'm putting these things together, they're just samples, so I can be a little bit rough. But paper, when it's your stuff, I'm up all night taking very, very good care of it. Now, if even if I was mailing out a sample, because I do mail out samples to some people, I should start charging for that. Um, but I don't. So, let's just put this here. Again, this is like that cutting off the mat thing because it's not, the paper is not long enough. You have to work with what you have and let your imagination run free. You gotta let it run wild and there it is. I'll have my circle and then I'll put these on and when I come back, I should be finished. for so long so now I get a chance to use them I would not recommend googly eyes I think these for really young kids 
but for the sake of this video we're gonna add them oh my goodness i've had these for so long <laughs> they are so cute oh my goodness i think i have two to three packs of these so for the sake of this to be, oh my goodness, that is so cute. is adorbs okay guys so let me finish seeing what else i can add to it but for the most part this might be it i'll be back okay guys so here's the box and i think it came out kind of cute i feel like it's missing something i think if i had white pom-poms i would like i would like it better but here's the idea of the box and here's the inside of the box. And for reference, here's a Bath and Body Works candle lid. So you can see that it, you know, it's bigger than that. Um, FYI, if I knew I was going to stick this up, I would have put it in here first and then put this on top but in the video I said I didn't know if I was gonna like stick it up or whatever so that's why that looks like that but you would definitely want to put it in here first and then put put it in first and then put your lid on top but that's why that looks like that so I think so all in all I think it's the idea of it is cute. I don't know, it's just something about it that I'm not crazy about. Maybe because I don't, the paper isn't what I want it to be. Maybe I should use photo paper, I don't know. But this is, this is the look. This is what it is. And yeah, maybe it needs more decoration. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, you, you guys tell me, what do you think? But that's the video. Maybe, hmm, maybe I shouldn't have seen it. Okay, maybe, maybe this is better. I don't know, guys, you tell me, but here it is again. I just wanted to execute something that I had in my brain and yeah. The little swiggly eyes look so cute. But here it is. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.